Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all. It's a really big pleasure to be here with you all to share this practice that is absolutely ancient. I feel very fortunate in my life, in this lifetime, to have met it again. And what's so special about this practice is through your life, many things can change and shift at any moment, but this practice, although it shifts, it's always yours to be with you because it's inside of you. So many people come and ask how to develop a daily practice. So in this short segment, I hope to share just a little bit about how to begin that. And the truth is, is that all you need to begin it is to take one breath intentionally. And we're all very capable of doing that. And that can be your practice, that you decide to take one breath intentionally every day. And you begin like that. Then the second day, it's two breaths intentionally. The next week, it's five minutes of breath intentionally. And it goes like that, slowly building it. So yoga means union, and vinyasa means to move with the breath. So there's something really magical and special that happens when we move our physical vehicle, which is just a really beautiful car for the spirit with the breath. There's something special that happens in that moment, and that's what I hope to share with you today. And I just want to thank so much all of the amazing indigenous speakers that went on. They're so special. The knowledge that they transmit is really beautiful, and we're lucky to be able to see them so close in our house and our TV screen. Usually they're very far away. So I really want to thank this technology. And I want to thank the beautiful team that's in front of me in this moment. There's people on computers and on different gadgets doing many different things, and they're doing such great work. Thank you. And thank you to our guide and elder, Maestro Manuel, for uh, supporting us and inspiring us to be better, more stand-up human beings on this planet at this time. So with that, I'm going to invite everyone to stand. I have a mat, but if you don't, it's OK. And as you come to a standing place, I'm going to invite you just to hop a little bit on your mat or the floor. It doesn't have to be very high. I just want you to loosen your body a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Open up the mouth and let the air flow out. <sighs> Inhaling. <sighs> Exhaling. Just a simple sigh at any point in the day when you feel stress or uncertainty or any kind of feeling that's not in alignment. Just that sigh will remove it immediately. Inhaling. And then as you land, allow yourself to land naturally on the floor and close your eyes. Observe your stance on the earth. And notice your tendency if you're leaning forward or back, if you're leaning to one side or to the other. No judgment, just noticing how you place yourself on this earth. And then with your inner awareness, trying to come to the very center of yourself, there's a special line that runs through the center of the body that the yogis call the Shashumna Nadi. It's the energetic highway that gives space for the Kundalini to rise, runs right through the center. So align yourself, your physical car, in alignment with this energetic highway. And then let's really embrace the highway and lift up your toes. Plant the feet through the ground into the center of the earth. Feel the abundance and the goodness of the earth rising through your body. Inhale, lift up your arms. Up to the center of the cosmos. And on your exhalation, draw the hands to your heart. Twice more, just like this. And 
Aligning the breath with the movement, keeping it easy. Connecting the cosmic forces with the abundance and steadiness of the earth at the center of your heart. You as the place in between the heaven and the earth. We'll set the intention for your practice. Peace in. Inhaling. And bowing, exhaling. Release the hands by your sides. And then place the hands on your hips. Stand firm on your legs. Press the feet into the floor, engage the legs really well, and lift the center of the head up to the cosmos. Bring your weight onto the right foot. We're going to begin with some Mayan movement, articulation of the 13 joints. So standing on the right foot, just moving the left foot with your breath, making really, really big circles. Other way. Then the other side. Standing really firm. And the other side. Placing your feet together, taking your hands on your knees, making movements, deep breathing. Other side. Hi, microphone. We're going to have to pick up the microphone. Spread your legs, moving into the hips. Imagine that you're drawing a very beautiful circle on the center of the earth with your tailbone. And you're just engraving your, your mantra of the day, peace in, right into the center of the earth. Other direction. And then draw your feet closer together, and let's come to the wrists. These beings are so special, they do so much work for you. Deep breathing, slow movement. Steady with your feet, standing straight. Your eyes can be closed or open, but the torso is long and clean. And if your eyes are open, you're looking right in front of you. Other direction. You can be anybody on this planet and do this. You can do this in bed. Recommended by our elder Maestro Domingo Diaz Porta to do this in bed. Okay, now the elbows. The elbows are very special joints that rarely get this much attention. And you'll notice there's different parts of your body that are going to mimic sound. And if you practice this on a daily basis, this will align your entire skeleton. It's a very beautiful practice. Other way. You can have an internal smile. Like I got a little serious. Shoulders. Projecting your, your goodness into the earth as you breathe and move your happiness, your joy, your gratitude, your peaceful state of being other way. I'm moving fast, but I'm breathing slow. But you need to determine for yourself. Now the neck, get really, really long and just moving side to side with the head.
I find that this is the first, that this is the best movement for myself and for those that I've seen to make first. It seems like the safest thing to do first, but your head may not turn that much. I mean, it just may turn a little bit. If you turn it like this, that's okay too. Just your eyes is fine as well. And then this way, ears, deep breathing. Gonna continue, lift the arms up, take a deep inhalation. Bring the hands through the center of the heart and fold forward over your legs, exhale. Extend your chest forward, breathing in. Place your hands on your hips, exhale, get your shoulders lifted and the elbows up. And then imagine like you're that really awesome candy that you just you press down and it comes right up. And then lift your arms, inhale. Maybe somebody knows the name of it. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, extend your torso. Hands on your back. Take a deep breath in again. Exhale out of your mouth. Without breathing, come up to stand. Lift your arms, inhale. Hands to the heart, bow down, exhale. Hugging the Shashumna Nadi. <clears throat> inhale. Hands to your hips. Exhale out of your mouth. <sighs> lift the pelvic floor. Come up to stand. Relax the pelvic floor. Lift your arms. Inhale. Bow down. Exhale. Inhale. Extend. Exhale out of the mouth. Hands to your hips. Lift the pelvic floor. Stand. Breathing in. And fold forward, breathing out. Standing in your forward fold, bending your knees for the first four breaths. Long, deep breath, let your head release down. Hear and feel your breath. In the vinyasa practice, we breathe the ujjayi breath. It is via the nose and the throat. It sounds like you're fogging a mirror. There's a soft constriction in the throat. Some people say it sounds like Darth Vader. But eventually, it sounds very soft. One more round. Straighten your legs. Stand here with your legs straight. Try to get your hands to your ankles. Listen, you may be somewhere over here. That's totally fine. You may have your hands on a chair, I'm using a windowsill, but you may be here. This is okay. Just try to straighten your legs and fold down as far as is available to you. I happen to be born Gumby, but that's just my karma on this plane. Four more. Lifting the shoulders, letting the head drop. Step your left leg back, put your knee on the ground and your right leg back and come into child's pose. Press the buttock onto your heels and let your hands be on the earth, straighten your arms. The first action is to press your hands and draw the buttock back, arms totally straight, five breaths. Relax your arms, let your head relax, move from side to side, get soft again. And then press your palms onto the floor and come up into all fours. There's one statement that so many people have made, it's difficult to quote. And I'll tell you about it as I walk you through this practice. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Just this movement 
One minute. Inhaling open, exhaling round. The yogis say that your age is determined by the flexibility of your spine and not the number of years you've been on this planet. So I have met many 70-year-olds that look 20 and many 20-year-olds that look 90. This is one movement that's very simple that helps keep your spine young. This can be your practice, just two minutes of this. another half minute, and as you're moving in this way, you can start to have a mantra as the vinyasa starts to happen pretty cleanly, where you're inhaling om, everything that exists and beyond, and ma, which is I am, so you're inhaling om and exhaling ma. It's a mantra that Amma used when I went to see her once. It's really sweet and powerful, very simple. Inhale, open, exhale, round. And this time, curl the toes underneath you, and you're going to lift the buttock up. We're going to come into an almost down dog, but not quite. And then put your knees back down. We're just going to play like this. Inhale, exhale, lift the knees. Just playing with the potential of down dog. My mat is one of my best friends on the whole planet. If you don't have one, I highly recommend it. And then straighten your legs. You can lift the heels up quite high. If you don't have a mat, you can even put your hands towards the wall like this. And I know, I'm sorry, I'm turning in a funny direction towards you, but I'm just trying to support you. Wow, that's fast. Okay, so we're going to spend some time in downward facing dog. And if you're not able to do it, you can just come back to child's pose. Step forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold forward. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale here and exhale here. Step forward. Come up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Step back, inhale. And into down dog. Exhale, step forward, come up, inhale, and fold forward, exhale, step back, inhale, and into down dog, exhale. Step your hands back to your feet, and come on up to stand. This completes our short standing postures. We're going to sit on the floor. So you can take a seat. If you tend to sit like this, you're welcome to take something like anything you have in your house. I happen to have yoga blocks, but you can take any pillow you have and sit on it. And this will help you make space from the center of the leg to your back. So any difficulties you have in the back, um, hamstrings, this is really going to help you to lift yourself up higher. And we're going to fold forward. You may be here. This is a great place. It doesn't really matter where you are. The idea is that you're breathing and you're moving. That's all. So I'm going to take a block and put it underneath my head. Again, maybe you have pillows. You can even be on a chair up here. Really good place. 
And we're going to take about seven breaths here. So this posture, this forward fold, it helps you to surrender. And it helps go inside before meditation. It's good to practice this posture for long periods of time. If you have a lot of energy and you're in a very good mood, if you're sad, it's not good to practice this posture for a long period of time because it can increase your sadness. We're going to come up and come to my very favorite posture of all time. It is called supported fish. This posture is just spectacular for opening the heart, letting the heart rise above the head, for resting, for relaxing, for just getting such a spectacular mood. This posture is just my favorite. Um, it's great if you have two blocks, if you don't have two blocks. You can use pillows in your house and try to form the idea of what's happening here. So this block is going to go right around the shoulder blades for the women. It's right around where the bra strap area is. And the second block goes right underneath your head. We're just going to relax and lie here and enjoy some didgeridoo. If this is a complicated idea for you, you can get this, no problem. The other option I'm going to show you, which is also super excellent, really good to raise your circulation, really good um, to help relax your mind again and get your, your heart above your head, is to put your legs up the wall. So you would just get really close to a wall and then swing your legs right up the wall and lie down. Another really fantastic posture. So we'll be in either one or the other for five-ish minutes.
Take a deep breath in and let yourself go a little bit deeper. Then from this state of softness and relaxation and surrender, move your ankles and place the palms onto the floor if you're in supported fish. If you're in legs up the wall, put your feet on the wall. If you're in supported fish, put your feet on the floor. Legs at the wall, roll off to the side. Supported fish, cross your ankles. Grab onto the earth and sit up. You can sit on a block or your pillow. I'm going to take a Breathwork practice, about a minute and a half to close the practice. Working on the idea of connecting to the Shashumna Nadi, the central energetic highway that lives in us all, waiting to carry the Kundalini upwards from the pelvic floor to the heart, to the head, and above. So the spinal breath is bringing your awareness from the tail to the head. Either <laughs> they're trying to be funny with me over here. So the spinal breath is bringing awareness to the space in between your tail and your head and going up through the inhalation and down through the exhalation, tracing the Shashumna Nadi with your awareness of the breath. So we'll take this practice for one minute, inhaling up and exhaling down. We'll take the last 30 seconds adding the mantra peace in, peace on the inhale, and in on the exhale. Peace on the inhale, and in on the exhale. taking the hands to the center of your heart. Bowing the head to the heart. We're going to chant the mantra Om three times. Those that are in need with their sound, transmitting 
it alchemically to their hearts and minds. and presence. May peace be inside all of us beyond space and time into ultimate infinity. Namaste.